What's up everybody? So today I'm actually gonna be working on a pretty cool project for any of you that have an older car like I do. I got a 95 Integra and right over there I got a 96 Civic. Um, bad thing about these cars is they don't come with keyless entry most of the time or like a trunk pop or anything like that. So I just got this little kit right off uh, Amazon and because the trunk is a manual lock, I'm gonna be installing a trunk solenoid and the keyless entry today. So I'll walk you guys through it. Kind of the things that I do, it's not a full how-to video. I've never done it before, so I mean, it'll be a learning experience. All right guys, so I'm gonna be starting with taking off the trunk release. Um, on this one, it's actually down here on the body itself. Some of them will have them up here on the actual trunk itself. So this one's pretty easy. It already has the pins removed, so it's just a matter of popping the plastic off. All right, so this is the kit that I got off Amazon for the trunk release. So this has the solenoid, power cable to your constant, grounding cable, power to the solenoid, and then all these extra little little things. Uh, and then the trunk button holder with the trunk button in here. I got the that little plastic off right there. And what you gotta do is you basically gotta find where this is. Like I said, sometimes it'll be here, sometimes it'll be up here on your actual trunk. What you gotta do is you gotta find where this this mechanism is and then figure out how your trunk is working. So this, you push it down, it locks in, and then this is, has to get pulled this way to unlock. What's gonna happen is this wire moves in and out. You can see it moving right in there. Um, and what that'll do, is once it's tied to this right here, it'll actually, from being out here locked, it'll pull it in to be able to pop the trunk just electronically. I already kind of mocked it up, so I'll be able to, this is the bracket for it that they put in. Sit the solenoid in there right like that, and then they have the two bolts up on top to be able to hold it down. I wanna keep this looking OE as possible. I don't want just a big solenoid sticking out and having to cut this plastic over here. I'm thinking of putting this bracket right on the inside over here and trying to push it up as far as I can. And then what I'm gonna have to do is just drill two holes into the body right here to be able to pu push the bolts through and then I'll be able to mount it right there. But the solenoid will essentially fit right inside of there. Let's see if I can get you a better view. So it'll fit right in there. Um, being mounted so then the cable will run through the inside and then loop over onto this. First steps first is I gotta actually find which bolts go to the bracket. Alright so one major thing you're gonna need is gonna be a drill and some drill bits. This is probably gonna be the I'm thinking the worst part of it. Um, just because you gotta drill into the body itself. The rest of it is just running the wires through and just connecting it to the right place. Found the bolts, now I just gotta find the right drill bit. All right, so I got my hole drilled. I can mount the bracket. Now I just gotta figure out the solenoid. So something else that they threw in is this little plastic piece, um, kind of like a support or reinforcement. Pretty much just slides right over the cable. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have your measurement right, just about right. 
it doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but you know about how much until that little stopper is right there. Um, so then this way you can just line this up right next to it and then cut it right, right where it should be. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is, because it's kind of in a harder spot to reach right now, um, I'm just gonna connect my cables at the other, at the uh, end of the solenoid. So this way I don't have to keep screwing it and unscrewing it back and forth so many times just to, just to get it right. Connect one end, which is gonna be the pretty much the longest wire is gonna go right up to the front of the car or, or wherever you're putting your butt in. And then the next one's gonna be the ground wire. You just gotta find a good grounding spot. Anywhere in the trunk is fine. We have plenty of grounding places here. Alright guys, so because of me actually trying to put that in, I kind of lost the holder for the wire. Um, so what I did is, you can, it's kind of hard to tell, but right here, I kind of just looped it around it a couple times and then just knotted it so it should be pretty snug and then all I got to do is just cut this off. I got a pretty good ground right here, so I'm just going to throw this one together with the other ones um, since it's right next to each other. All right, so I got pretty much everything all set up back here. Now the next part is pretty much running this cable up to the front um, and then wiring up the button with the constant power. All right guys, so now what I'm doing is I got my wire run over here to the driver's side. Um, thing is, it's just a little bit too short. So what I'm doing is I got some a different colored wire, I didn't want to run to the store and grab another green wire. So I'm just going to add some red wire, extend it, because this is just going to the button anyways. Uh, so I'm thinking about putting the button somewhere right around here, right underneath the uh, sunroof switch. So, I mean, you can see I set up a little blanket right right above me right there. Um, sun's coming out. It's getting a little hot out here. So, I, I had to step away for a little bit. Um, I had to fix quite a bit of things that were going on in here. It looks like they had a previous, I'm guessing, remote start keyless entry alarm system. Uh, so, I pretty much had to take all of it off, put the wires back where they were and everything. Um, but, I got the trunk working and everything. So, last time I showed you guys, I ran the wire right along the edge right here. So now it's going up to the switch and then I got the switch right here. And then I got the little connector that, let's see if I can show you guys where I did it. All right. So I actually plugged it in right in here. Let's see, you can see that power to it now. Let's see, so that has power. And let's see if I can show you guys this right here. So you'll see that move as soon as I um, pop the trunk. So once I press the button, it moves it back just like that. 
Um, so trunk pot's working now and everything. Now the only thing left to do is pretty much wire in this whole um, keyless entry. Another quick update, um, I'm doing the keyless entry right now. Just got a couple things. It's kind of hard to record using the tripod as kind of like my shade. I and mean, then I can't really set the camera down in here. It's a little bit hard. So I'll just do a couple updates as I'm going. Just show you where I'm plugging stuff in and stuff like that and what it does exactly. Right now, this is one connector that goes to it. Um, so far, I got two white wires which goes to the lock and unlock. I got those connected down here. You can see right where those are right Right there um, so I got those two connected for lock and unlock and these two yellow wires and this black wire just the ground so instead of having three separate wires for a ground I just decided to make them all one next one I got is this brown wire which essentially just goes to my lights the red wire so I'll just go right into the trunk release that I did um, I'll update you guys as soon as I got these put in here. Biggest thing with this is you really have to go on forums and stuff like that, like I'm doing. Um, like I'm doing, I'm on Honda Tech for Integras, and you just gotta look up like wiring diagrams and stuff like that. So right here, this is a real good one. It shows me what each wire is, and then. The keyless entry system came with the whole diagram itself, so it makes it real easy to just wire this stuff in, but I'll update you guys as soon as I get a couple more of these done. Alright everybody, quick update. Uh, my boy Nate just came through. What's up Nate? Hello, man. I pretty much got everything done now. I'm just gonna walk through the remaining wire that I didn't show you. I put everything right in here. Let me adjust this for you so you can see. Well, there's the module where the this little bundle of wires connects to. Um, last I left off, I think there was about three wires. With this stuff, it's not really a good walkthrough type of video. Um, just because every car is going to be different. The best thing, like I said before, is just look online a wiring diagram for your car. Just follow the installation on this that they provide you. Everything's everything's working great. So this is the remote. Let's see, let's see if you can see the lock over there. So you can see the the lock is activating and deactivating. The trunk takes a little while. It takes like five seconds to actually work, but then you'll see that back there. So you could hear it a little bit. Um, so the button's working, everything's pretty much working great, just like it should be. So that's that with this one.